Good day everyone. Let's try to answer some random math problem on mathematics. So let's start. Here's the question. Simplify square root of 7 plus square root of 48 plus square root of 7 minus square root of 48. Now if you want to try this problem, just pause this video and if you're ready, here's the solution. To answer this problem, we will use a method called Abu Kamil's way. So here it is. If we have square root of a plus b plus or minus 2 square root of ab, it is equal to square root of a plus or minus square root of b, provided that a is greater than b. We will use this method to answer this problem. After that, I will show you a simple proof of this method. So let's start. First thing to do is to simplify the square root of 48 because we want 2 times square root of something. And 48 is equal to 4 times 12. Therefore, square root of 48 is simply 2 square root of 12. So we have square root of 7 plus 2 square root of 12 plus square root of 7 minus 2 square root of 12. Now take note that 2 square root of 12 is simply square root of 48. They are just the same thing. Now at this point, we will use Abu Kamil's way. Now first thing to do is we need to think of two numbers that when we add up, we have 7 and when we multiply, we get 12. And the only pair of numbers that satisfies this condition is 4 and 3. So we have 4 plus 3, we have 7, and 4 times 3, we have 12. So this becomes square root of 4 plus 3 plus 2 square root of 4 times 3 plus square root of 4 plus 3 minus 2 times the square root of 4 times 3. Now, using Abu Kamil's way, in this term, we will get square root of 4 plus square root of 3. Again, please take note that a must be greater than b. Therefore, in this case, a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 3. Now, we will do the same thing in this term. So, using Abu Kamil's way, this becomes square root of 4 minus square root of 3. Now, simplify, we will get 2 plus 2 or simply square root of 4 plus square root of 4 because square root of 3 minus square root of 3 will become 0. Therefore, square root of 7 plus square root of 48 plus square root of 7 minus square root of 48 is simply equal to 4. And we're done. At this point, I will show you a simple proof of this method. So we have Abu Kamil's way. Here we go. Square root of a plus b plus or minus 2 square root of ab must be equal to square root of a plus or minus square root of b, provided that a must be greater than b. First question is, why do we need to follow this condition that a must be greater than b? Now take a look at this result. If a is less than b, square root of a minus square root of b becomes a negative number. And we know that inside the radical sign or inside the square root, we don't have any negative because square root of a negative number is an imaginary number. Therefore, this left-hand side is always positive. It follows that the right-hand side must be positive. Therefore, to make it positive, a must be greater than b. Now let's move on to this equation. So we will use square root of a plus square root of b. What we're going to do is to square this expression and take the square root. Or simply, we do nothing at all. Because we square this number, then we get the square root. So this is equivalent to square root of a plus square root of b. Now at this point, we need to expand the inside part. So square root of a plus square root of b raised to 2. And we get square root of a raised to 2 will give us a. Then the middle term is 2 times the product of these two terms. We have 2 times square root of a times square root of b or simply 2 times square root of ab. And the last term must be the square of square root of b. And square root of b raised to 2 will give us b. Now rearrange and we get square root of a plus b plus 2 square root of ab. And that's exactly the Abu Kamil's way.
Again, this is equivalent to square root of a plus square root of b. Now, if this sign is negative, we will do the same thing and we will get that square root of a minus square root of b must be equal to the square root of a plus b minus 2 square root of ab. Therefore, there is no doubt that square root of 7 plus square root of 48 plus square root of 7 minus square root of 48 is simply 4. And we're done.